Well, Thursdays right here on Portland CW, you can catch episodes of hit drama series In the Dark, a story of a messy 20-something who not only struggles to balance her random hookups, hangovers, and drug front, but she's also <laughs> blind. Yeah, joining us live to talk about the show, Perry Matfield, who plays Murphy on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. I have to tell you, I discovered the show on Netflix. I didn't even realize at the time it was a CW show because yeah. it is very dark and edgy, and I love your character. Yeah. Your character is a Thank hot you. mess. <laughs> I like her a lot, too. I'm a big fan of hers. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm happy that so many people found the show on Netflix. I do feel like um, that's where a lot of people were able to binge it. Yeah. Uh, last well, for people who aren't familiar with it, how would you sum it up for them? Oh boy, um, definitely hard to put in a box. It doesn't really fit in a box. Um, it's very unique. Uh, season two is probably, you know, our murder mystery has been kind of closed in season one. Season two, we're getting more into the Breaking Bad um, crime thriller element. Um, it's unique, it's a dark comedy. It makes you laugh, it makes you frustrated it makes you cry um i'm hoping that it's going to be a good escape for people especially right now yeah absolutely i know it's it's on my netflix list of shows that i want to watch and now that i know we're kicking off season two here mm -hmm. i gotta get caught up and and binge season one so uh is there anything that's definitely going to be different in this new season any any nuggets or sneak peeks you can give us well um you know, I don't think anyone expected that uh, we'd be laundering uh, money for a heroin um, uh, dealer, but that is what Guiding Hope has become. <laughs> and um, uh, I feel like the season one is definitely kind of the prologue, I feel say, or the intro to season two, because it's really where we take off in the beginning of the story. Now that we know why these characters are the way they are now that we understand who murphy is i mean season one you saw kind of her darkest worst self and in season two there's so much more to root for for her and she has this you know this ensemble we're all kind of fighting for the same thing yeah, and you mentioned uh, Guiding Hope, and that's the, the place where they train dogs for the blind. You play a blind yep. character. I remember mm -hmm. as I was watching season one, I was Googling you. I sound like a creeper right now, <laughs> because I'm like, is she blind? Because you'd play the characters. Is that, I'm, I'm assuming that's hard to play uh, someone with that sort of disability when you don't have it in real life. I mean, I'm obviously always still learning, and I'll never totally understand or I'll never, I will never understand, I'll never get that. But what's awesome for me as an actor is that because the show is inspired by a real person, um, by Lori, who's not only our blind consultant, but involved in the writing process as well, alongside some of our other writers from the blind community. Um, having her as a resource, having her physically there with me so that I can just obsess over her physicalities and how she moves and you know, if she's on set with me and the director gives me the blocking that he wants me to do in that scene, I'll just have her do it and then do exactly what she does. Mm. So, um, not only having Lori, but Callie, who's wonderful. She's one of our other leads as well. Um, and all the people from the community that are on set with me, I'm lucky to have them as a resource. Yeah, you do, you do a great job. Yeah, so yeah. We're, we're watching some uh, clips of the show here too while we while we talk to you about it. it. It just seems like such an original and just kind of different and edgy show. Like Jenny mentioned, like we didn't realize that it was a CW show initially. Yep. What's it been like kind of working on this project and, and working with CW and, and moving into season two? I'm I'm just so proud of the CW for championing championing the show and supporting it. And yes, it is different, and it it was a risk for sure, especially for the CW and the fact that they have been so supportive of it. I mean, um, Mark Petowitz is the one who met uh, Lori initially at a retreat and was so inspired by her um, that said, "There's a story here. I want to I want to tell this story." And so. Um, the fact that we've been renewed for a third season before season two has even started airing. That's amazing. I'm so lucky. Yeah, that's um, exciting. Congrats. 
I've also been so pleased with the range of the demographic that watches the show. I mean, I have dads that stop me and say, honey, I want you to meet, you know, the, so one husband said to me, honey, I want you to meet the woman I've been spending every night with. <laughs> I mean, that was a dad that had fallen in love with the show. I mean, there's guys that watch it. There's young girls that watch it. There's people, you know, college families. I'm just so pleased with the fact that people are resonating with what I think we pride ourselves on, on being the, the best quality about the show is just the raw realness of these people. And that's thanks to Corinne, obviously our brilliant showrunner, but um, just making these people unapolog unapologetically themselves. Yeah, well, there's such a range of characters that people yeah. could, you know, relate to. And again, I, I love your character because it, it, you are very complex and just kind of, a, like I said, a hot mess, a train wreck. <laughs> um, but I love it. I mean, I, I just kept watching one weekend because I, I couldn't get enough. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm pumped to get on this bandwagon mm -hmm. here. You can count me a fan too. And I, I got to catch up now for season two. And of course, again, season two of In the Dark premiering tonight right here on Portland CW. Perry Matfeld, good to talk with you. Thank you so much and, and stay healthy. Thank you so much. Thank you.